Time for some real life scenarios, finally. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take one single room and completely change the look of it by giving it four different vibes or styles, whatever you wanna call it, using four different paint colors. And of course, I have the NYX Mini 3 with me here today to help me out. So I have this custom Teb pattern that I designed called Olga. Olga was the name of the client that I had originally designed this for. Hey Olga, what's going girl? I've actually used this pattern on a few different projects for a few different clients. For Olga, we redid an old chair that she had uh, inherited from her father. And I also use it as a wallpaper on the ceiling of a powder room. But today we're gonna use it on curtains. Well, we're gonna fake it on curtains. I don't have the budget to actually put together a real world bedroom and then paint it over four times. So I created the CG bedroom that we're gonna use as our uh, guinea pig. So I'm gonna use the same bedroom, the same setup, the same furniture, and of course the same curtains in all four of our scenarios. Uh, the only thing that I'll change is the paint color on the walls. With the Mini 3, I'm going to extract four different Benjamin Moore paint colors from the Olga fabric. Then one paint color at a time, I will paint all of the walls in our bedroom and show you just how impactful and vibe or style changing color can actually be. Here we are at the next step and I've got my Olga fabric, I've got my Mini 3 and I got my phone here with the NYX Toolkit app on it. So we're gonna give that a start. Uh, I'm gonna press the little icon here at the top right to connect to my Mini 3. Connect to NYX. There it is there in the list, the NYX Mini 3. Connecting to NYX, device found, it's synchronizing, and there we go. All right, so since we're dealing with paint brands today, with ben we're gonna pick some Benjamin Moore paint colors. I'm gonna go to match, find the closest match to paint and other libraries and then we're gonna match to paint brands. I think I wanna start with this really awesome light blue here. Okay. Scan with NYX. There we go. So right at the very top there is um, the color that the NYX has scanned from the fabric that it thinks it is. And then below will be the list of paint colors from Benjamin Moore that it thinks best match with it. And the one right at the top here is called Cool Blue. Now it's only got two dots, so it's really, it's just a good match. It doesn't have any excellent matches. So just to be clear about that, it's nothing against the NYX Mini 3. It's nothing that says, oh, the NYX Mini 3 can't find any good matches. It means that Benjamin Moore doesn't have a paint color that get is close enough to here. It's, it's on the paint company, it's not on NYX if it can't find an excellent match. But we're gonna stick with Benjamin Moore for this uh, example, and we're gonna try Cool Blue to go with that blue. Alrighty, oh, you know what I love? I really like this, this dark teal color, which just seems to be coming back right now. I love it. All right, blue Danube right at the very top. Oh, look at that, Summer Night's also an excellent match. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the one at the very top. It does look really uh, close to our original scan. So blue Danube will be the color that will pair with that teal. So many colors I like. All right, let's go with this darker peach color. See what we get. Okay, fan coral. Alrighty, I like the name of that too. Oh my god, I also love. I love. Uh, I like all of these colors. I'm gonna have a hard time picking. So this orange. Mwah. So let's grab that. What do we got? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Salsa. Salsa! Okay, I think that's enough colors for now, so let's uh, grab all that and take it to the bedroom. That's what she said! <laughs> all right, so here we go. I'm gonna get on the computer now and I'm gonna dive into the, uh, the computer-generated bedroom that I created, and I'm going to, one color at a time, paint all the walls and show you how different it can look. Okay, so first here, here's the room with just white walls. Uh, we've got a uh, nice bed in there. I've got a carpet, a little console on the side with a mirror above it, nightstand, got some sconces, got a creepy weird piece of art above the bed. And there are our Olga curtains. And, oh, and the beautiful chandelier. Oh, and one of these beds, I love this. So it's crazy. This, seems to be a new trend that's happening. The um, caning and the wicker stuff is coming back in furniture. And I gotta tell you, I hate it. I hated it. I've always hated this. I've just find it so dated and old and terrible looking. But lately, I've seen it on, there's a company that, um, I can't remember the name right now, but I'll pop it on the screen, that makes 
this bed and as soon as I saw it pop up on my Instagram one day, I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. I think I'm starting to get on board with this. I kind of like it now. So I picked this bed that has the caning in it and it's got, the wood is like that rust, uh, restoration hardware kind of rustic raw wood. I just found it a bit neutral that hopefully can uh, coordinate with all of these colors that we're going to pick. Oh, and a pair of shoes. Sorry, forgot about the hot, sexy shoes. <laughs> I think they're pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm going to leave. Nothing is going to change except the wall co color. And then that way we're going to see, all right, what kind of personality does the room have now? All right, we're starting off with Benjamin Moore Cool Blue. And there you go. I like that. Hmm. I think it looks really nice. What do you think? What do you think? It's pretty sexy, actually. I really like that blue. I love bright, bright, watery, cold blue. I think it's so beautiful. Hmm, I like it a lot. It's a lot. Listen, I didn't say these were all going to be tame and calm. They're going to be a lot because the, a lot of the colors that are in that Olga fabric are really bold. Next is the dark teal. So Benjamin Moore Blue Danube. Check that out. <laughs> yep. Uh, Papa Likey. I really like this one. This one's great. I love the way the teal is making the leaves, the teal leaves and the blue in the curtain fabric really stand out more right I like that a lot it's really it's like when you wear um, when you've got really nice blue eyes and you wear a blue sweater that kind of matches and makes your eyes really pop out this color is doing the same thing with these drapes now and it's really making that teal uh, pop right out at you but but the fabric and the colors in in the in the drapes are still like really impactful and I love that they are technically the only of the other colors in in the in the um in the drapes are the only thing that are those colors so it's making them really stand out it's like art art should don't ever match your art by the way to your wall colors or to your pillows or your vases people have a piece of art that they really like and they'll say well you know it's got a little bit of red in it so i think what i'll do is i'll gonna grab a red vase and a red pillow and i'm gonna spread it around don't do that because you're taking away from the art by doing that. The art needs to stand out on its own. The art doesn't need to match, shouldn't match with anything. You're, you're, you're creating like a 1980s motel look. So don't do that. So that's kind of like what's happening here is these drapes are the feature now within, within this teal room, right? Uh, this, I, I love this. This is beautiful. Woo! Uh, Benjamin Moore Coral Fan. This one, okay, I'm predicting yeah, this one's going to work. This one's going to be awesome. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, ho, ho. gimme, gimme, gimme. Right? Oof. Yes. Correct. This one works. I like a lot. You know, I, don't, I know that that artwork is really creepy behind the bed, but it's really cool. Like, I think that that looks fantastic. I think it, the bed looks great. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Okay, so where did we get the... Yeah, the coral was from that part of the, the peachy uh, flower. Ugh, like it a lot. Yes! Now we move on to that really vibrant sort of fruit punchy orange, which I really like. Like, this is like one of my fave colors I would say like bright electric blue and this Hawaiian punch orange if you're old enough to remember Hawaiian punch orangey ready fruit punchy Hawaiian punch I love that color I think I think this one's gonna work for sure and this one uh Benjamin Moore salsa salsa oh dude <sighs> I mean me how amazing is that oh okay this for sure is my favorite so far oh the the saturation of that color it's so beautiful that is amazing 
Wow, wow, wow. So that came from... Um, it wasn't from the red, red flower. There's this fruit punchy orange. There it is. It's from this right here. Here it looks a little bit more orange. Oh no, it, look, it, looks, it looks really well. Oh my god. No, it's like this part right here. See? Oh my god. All of these colors too, like the, the mini three, most of these ones that I'm picking, these are all from the excellent matches. And from here, dude, they're working really well. The color matching to the fabric is working amazing. Okay, I gotta pan back out here. Holy sh man. Yeah, that is amazing. That is so beautiful. That color is the sh dude. Oh, all right. That was fun. I like doing that. Did you like that? Is that fun? Maybe I should do more of those, eh? What do you think? Mm -hmm.